Hello, today we're going to be talking about how to create an Office 365 package within SCCM. There's a couple methods you can do that, but in this video we're going to show you how to do it within SCCM and how to deploy that. So with that, let's get started. So I'm going to do, bring up the console. Now what you want to do, what I've done already is I've created a folder to store the package files under packages and I called it Office 365. So then what you want to do is come into software library, Office 365 client, you want to hit the folder and then you want to click Office 365 installer. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to give it a name. If I can spell that right. Let's do let's do a 32-bit version. And then I'm going to do the content location. Oh well, actually, let's do a new folder. In case we need I always like to create the two different versions, but if your environment only requires 64-bit or 32-bit, you can just make, you know, just one package of that. That's fine. But all right, next. Then you want to click on go to the Office Optimization Tool. And it'll bring up this tool that you would normally see on the website. There's a link that you can go to to go to that directly, and then you can do it from there. But we're going to do it within SCCM. So I'm going to select 32-bit, because that's what I want to create. And then you want to select, um, we're going to do, um, now these two are for volume licenses, and then this is your um, Office 65. So depending on your enterprise agreement or your, your license agreement with Microsoft, you'll select one of these options. Um, now I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and do the enterprise. Um, you can add P Visio in this package if you wanted to. You can create a separate package for Visio, um, but you kind of have to create one of these suites. So I'm going to skip all the project. And then for additional products, um, you know, if you wanted to do language packs or like access runtime, I'm just not going to do any additional stuff. Um, now this channel. Now the current channels every month, and then the current channel preview, and then the monthly enterprise, and the summer channel. All I'm going to just do semi-annual because it's just not uh, updated as frequently. So you'll have to go through this process every single month that you it, when there's a new update. And I'll go over that in a separate video on how to manage Office 365 packages and your updates and stuff like that. So I'm just going to do a semi-channel just to pick something. And then, you know, select version. So here's the different versions that you have. This is the latest. This is the latest version. You can see how often it happens. This is pretty much every single month. So I'm going to select the latest version because that's what I want. And here's your option. Now let's say I don't really need, you know, access, maybe OneDrive. Um, uh, I don't need Publisher. Let's, uh, let's Skype. It's kind of, you know, we're using Teams now. Um, maybe one notes there maybe you know maybe this is going on a server maybe this is for a standard license and we don't need access whatever components you want to configure for this um, I usually turn that off um, and then you can click on language if you want to um, in fact when you go next it will take you to the next spot which is you know installation option next and then you'll get your upgrade options and uninstall any MSI including whatever that'll be on so uninstall all the different stuff um, now you don't want to do an automatic upgrade next and then product key you're going to want to if you have KMS in your environment uh, you know it'll you know it'll um, license the uh, product then you have your different uh, product activation. You have user base, which is your more common one. Shared license is if you want to have, if you have a, a machine that multiple people log in, you want to have them re register their email or their user account with that license. So that's the shared user and the device user um, 
it's similar to the user base but it's on a device versus a user so again this is all going to depend on your license agreement you have in your organization so i'm just going to select user base for the sake of the video and then next um you can put some stuff here or your organizational name or description if you wanted to do that um, I'm just going to do uni. I'm not that it really, really matters at this point. They're not going to really see any of this, but, uh, um, now you can have, now in here you can have all of the different stuff here, all the different, uh, common things that you want to, you know, tweak. You can do that here and you can have all of these different tabs here, um, to select different stuff, you know, OneNote or Excel or whatever, if you wanted to not, you know, turn on certain things or turn off certain things, um, you can do that all within here so that it's, co it's configurable within this package. Um, and then I'm not gonna configure anything at this point, but you, you know, here's where you would do that. And you click on finish. Now, um, let's see. All right, and click on import. So now what I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it um, uh, Office, oops, Office 365x86 or something like that. Oops. And then I'm going to dump that. Oh. Um, packages. I go to Office 365 and I'm gonna save it there. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, so after I I had to go back and select a couple of things and then click on Preview. So here's the uh, keep current settings, open documents. So I'm gonna keep the current settings. Um, so you can choose the option. Uh, setting for the deployment, you can do Word not configured. Um, you can open XML and change some stuff in there or whatever, what have you. So I'm going to do a keep current settings. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Um, yeah, that's fine. Again, you can choose whichever one makes sense for you. I'm just going to use that. And then you can see it's uh, uh, general, product, 32 bits. And then go ahead. And at this point, you can just review everything. Languages, English, and then you have your user, user activation, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You click on submit. And then you click on next. Uh, do you want to deploy this application? I'm going to say no because I'm going to do this with. I'm going to do it later. Um, but I'm going to say no for now, and I'm going to go next and next. Again, this is just going to be a third. Now I can turn around and do the same thing for the 64 bit version of the Office 365. But I'm just for training purposes and for this video, I'm just picking one of these. And it would be the exact same steps. Now it's going to go through and start creating the um, the package and the XML file and all that stuff. It's got to download this. So it does take a little bit of time. Okay, it's completed. So in this process, it downloaded the Office 365. As you can see, it create it downloaded the 32-bit uh, version. It downloaded the Office, and you can see the files right here. So it took some time. And then it created the XML file. So when you open up this uh, XML file, you can see that, you know, it says um, config manager true because I did it within, SC, uh, within SCCM. And it gave the exclusion and all this stuff. Um, so that it basically configure the XML file for you and, and with the options that you selected in this uh, wizard. And that's basically it. So now, So now when I come over to my application, you'll see it right here. Office 365x86, so it created this package for me, it downloaded the files, created the XML. So now all I have to do is distribute the content.
which I'm going to do. Once I distribute the content to your distribution point, so I'm going to do that now. And I might as well just select both of them. And then once it's done distributing the content, then what you can do is at that point, once that part is done, you're now ready to de deploy the Office 365 in your environment. And that's basically it. And you can kind of go back, come back here and create other packages like your 2019, if you have volume license, if you have a different, if you're going to be doing that for servers and then the Office 65 for desktop, however you, however, you, however you want to do it in your environment. And when you come back in here, you also have the option to select, I want to create a, uh, an ADR, like an automatic deployment rule. You can create client settings for your Office 365. So you can, all your stuff is within here. Um, so it's one easy way to create that package without going outside, downloading everything, running all of these commands. You can just do it right within your SCTM environment. So now I'm going to monitor my content there for Office 365. And there it is, and it's halfway done. So once it completes, then I can technically do a deployment of this uh, Office 365 package. Now, the one option I forgot to mention that there's a set setting that you want to stop running services, and you want to say yes to that. I, I, I passed through that, but you want to make sure you say yes, stop running services, otherwise it won't install. Um, because you have somebody's on that machine and they've got Excel running and all of a sudden you got this deployment going, it's not going to stop those running processes. You want that to happen. So make sure you select that option um, when you're in that, that wizard. Um, and you'll see it in there. Just kind of carefully, uh, it's really easy to browse past it, but I, and that's what happened the first time. So just make sure you have that checked to stop running services and you should be set to go. And that's basically it. So like I said, it'll take a little bit of time to replicate um, the, uh, distribution to the distribution point. And then I have my package already done, created, but then using that wizard. Pretty cool, huh? Um, so I'm just waiting for, and now what I can do is I can, uh, I guess, let's see, do I have a, now, um, and you just deploy it like you deploy any other ap application. You just hit deploy, you go through your wizard to make it either available or make it a required deployment depending on what you're going to do with it. Um, and that's basically it. That's how you create your app package, um, Office 365 package within um, SCCM. So and that's basically it. So if, um, there's going to be some more content coming your way. I've got some cloud management integration coming up, so that's coming up shortly. I just wanted to kind of go over how to kind of create this package within SCCM itself without having to go through all of the other steps um, that you normally would have to go through. So it's making it a little easier to do that. Um, and then uh, I think in the next video I'll show you how to deploy and then also create um, Office 365 updates. So I'll do that in the next one. Um, again, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And um, I'll put some information down in the uh, comment section below in regards to some of the uh, options around the 365 in terms of the channels to select and all that good stuff. So again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.